Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I took my braids out. I had not less braids in for about four, maybe five weeks. And I thought I could have pushed it to six weeks, but I realized that no, because my hair was flaking so bad. And then the front of it became really messy, the edges, and it was not looking good. So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and take these braids out. I have no clue what I'm gonna do with my hair once I wash it and blow dry it. I think what I might end up doing is cornrowing it myself, like all the way back, and rocking a wig for like the next few weeks until I'm ready to do something again. I'm giving it a break only because prior to the braids, I also had a sewed in weave. And so I think it's time for my hair to just get a break from the pull in and the tangle and the tug in and all of that good stuff. So I'm just gonna wash it, deep condition it, and cornrow it back. Now, I wanted to come on here because I wanna show you some new products that I purchased for my hair that I will be using today. And then I am gonna review each product and let you here know. Here the new products I'm gonna be using. It's spelled O-U-A-I, but it's actually pronounced Way. I had to Google that because initially I was like, how in the world do you say that? But anyway, today I will be using the Detoxing Shampoo, which I hear is very good, leaves your hair feeling nice and squeaky clean. I also have the Thick Hair Deep Conditioner because obviously you know my hair is pretty coarse, so I'm, Hoping this works pretty well in softening and moisturizing my hair. Then I also have the leave-in conditioner, which I plan to use after I'm finished conditioning and washing my hair. I also, in addition to the hair care products, I ordered two additional products, which is the body cleanser and uh, this scalp and body scrub. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna use the scalp scrub today after I um, wash my hair, only because one of my followers on TikTok, there's this nurse that I follow and she follow, we follow each other actually. And she does like weekly product reviews and she used this in her hair recently. And she said, I mean, it felt good, but she just felt like it was too messy when washing it out. So I'll probably just skip, I'll probably just not skip it. I'll skip it on my hair, but I will I definitely. Back. My hair is washed and I just have it pulled back up in a little poof because once I'm finished doing the reviews, I'm gonna go ahead and cornrow it myself and apply my wig. And then I'll show you guys what the finished look, you know, however it came together. Cornrowing my hair is a skill that I learned since I was about eight or nine years old. My great grandmother, she had natural hair and she would wear it in cornrows going all the way back. And there was a lady who taught me how to cornrow on my great grandmother's hair. So that is a skill that I am very happy that I acquired because I also have two daughters and knowing how to cornrow has taken me a long way. Anyway, some concerns that I had about my hair, this has nothing to do with the products, is that the braids, I don't, like, I don't know what's happening, but if you guys can see, like I discovered like I have almost like a bald spot right there and my edges are super thin. So I'm gonna lay off of the braids for some time and I'm probably just gonna end up wearing wigs. That's, that's one of the best ways I think to protect my edges and hopefully help wherever I have little like thinness or baldness, hopefully it will grow back. But anyway, let's get into the product. First thing I wanna talk about is the Detox Shampoo. I like this product and when it's, when it, when I use all of it, more than likely I'll end up purchasing again. The reason why I really like it is because a little bit goes a long way. So you know how you have some shampoos that you put it in your hair and you're trying to set it up and it's not getting soapy enough and then you have to like add more? This right here, no. The very first time I used it, I used about a quarter size amount, like a, I poured like a quarter size amount in my hand and right away my hair instantly foamed up. I was able to like massage it through. It was really soapy and I had no issues foaming it up. So the second shampoo, I actually ended up using a dime size and that actually went a very long way. So I think this is definitely worth the price and I will be purchasing again. My hair filled, felt squeaky clean and um, I think it got rid of a lot of the grime and the buildup and the dust that I had from the braids. So the detox shampoo is definitely a go. The next thing that I used was the Thick Hair Deep Conditioner. I will purchase it again. I think it's definitely worth the price. I immediately noticed how moisturized and soft my hair felt once I um, you know, applied it all throughout. Now this, bottle or this jar is eight 
eight ounces. It does not come with a whole lot of product, okay? So I think even though I would purchase it again, the quantity is not sufficient. They need to make this a little bit larger because for if you're like me and you have natural hair and it's really coarse and really thick, you have to use like, I used two generous like scoops to like make sure all of the areas were um, conditioned and moisturized, but I'll purchase it again. Next up, let's, I'm gonna stray away from the hair a little bit and I'm gonna talk about the body cleanser. <laughs> While I like it and I do appreciate the smell, I don't think I'll purchase this again only because I have used other um, body cleansers that do just what it's supposed to do, clean my body and make me feel nice and fresh. So to pay the money that I paid for this, I don't think that um, it's worth it. Not that it's not good, but I just wouldn't. For a body cleanser, no. I'll just buy something else in like a local pharmacy. Maybe some like Oil of Olay or even like Dove body wash. So that's how I feel about that. The other thing that I used while I was washing my hair was the scalp and body scrub. Now I told you before that I was not putting this in my hair because I heard from another person that it can get very messy and I do not have time. Dealing with natural coarse hair is enough already that I did not need to add any <laughs> anything else for me to do. So I didn't use this in my scalp. However, I did use it as a body scrub once I was finished cleansing my body with the body cleanser. And the surprising thing about this is that a little bit goes a long way. Will I purchase it again? Maybe if I have some extra coins and I'm feeling a little bit, you know, reckless, I'll probably purchase it again. But I have used other body scrubs for a lesser price that does the same thing or <laughs> it does what it's supposed to do. Um, the one thing though I will tell you about this is that once you apply it onto your skin, it's almost as though you're applying a scrub and a mask because the base of it becomes white. So it's like you're masking your entire body and scrubbing it in. So I do like that. Like it doesn't go on clear. You actually see a mask on your skin with the scrub. So I enjoy that, but I don't know if I'll purchase again. This is a kind of, mm, we'll see. <laughs> The other thing that I use is the Way Leave-In Conditioner. I mean, I don't really know. I don't think I will purchase this again. One of the things that I do not like about this is I don't like the heavy perfume scent. Like, it's too perfumey. It doesn't align, in my opinion, with what a hair product should smell like, especially like a leave-in hair product. So I don't know if I will be using this again. Um, it did help detangle my hair but it also kind of made it feel a little bit sticky. So let me see. Mm. Some parts felt a little bit stickier than others. So I don't know if I would use this leave-in conditioner again. Probably not. I'll probably purchase like another one. And earlier on when I showed you all of the products that I was going to use, I forgot to show this. This was actually the first whey product that I ever purchased. And I purchased this by itself because I just wanted something to rub in my hair whenever I was cornrowing it or slicking it up in one. And um, this finishing cream, I adore this product. This, I will always, always purchase it. In my natural hair, I apply it. It moisturizes my hair. It looks, it just keeps it soft. And um, it's very lightweight, so I do, I do really like this product. And this is called the finishing cream. As you can see, I've pretty much used a good bit of this. I probably need to re-up on it pretty soon. So those are my thoughts on the product. I mean, you can go ahead and try it and see whether or not it works for you. I am going to go now and cornrow my hair. I will show you that also. Well, not the whole entire process because I'm just not going to do all of that. So I'm going to go cornrow my hair and I'll show you how it looks once I'm finished cornrowing it. It's not perfect, but it gets the job done. And then I'm also going to show you the wig that I'm going to be wearing for the next few okay, weeks. So my hair is cornrowed. I oiled it and I put one, two, three, four, five. I have five cornrows going back. Let me see if I can show you the back a little bit. The parts might not be straight at all, but it's going to do what it's supposed to to do so it's flat and now i'm gonna get my wig ready now mind you i haven't worn this wig in like some months so it's not in the best condition i'm gonna have to brush it out probably flat iron it probably even blow dry it for a little bit and um see how it looks so i'll be back again i am back with the wig on this is the wig that i will be wearing for the next couple of weeks 
I did blow dry it out just a little bit and I am going to flat iron it. So this wig is one of those wigs that I don't have to like glue down or like bond it down. It did come with the lace, which I got cut. Like my hairdresser, she cut the lace for me. So I can pretty much take this off at night, take it off weekly and wash my hair and condition it. So this is going to be my look. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video today. If you like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. And I will see you all again in the next video.